Professional footballer Cristiano Ronaldo has led one of the most enviable lifestyles in the entire world, and his home life is the object of curiosity for millions of fans all across the globe. Now that he's a former Manchester United star twice over, this undisputed superstar can spend his free time jetting around the world to any one of his incredible homes. Life might have began for this legend out of a humble apartment in Portugal, but with a current net worth of around $500 million these days, it's since become the stuff that dreams are made of. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you wanna see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. After achieving his nearly impossible dream of turning himself into a professional footballer, Cristiano's real estate journey began in 2003 when he starred for Manchester United during his first run with the club. Like most of his teammates at the time, Ronaldo lived in the very exclusive neighborhood of Alderley Edge. There, he found a $3.6 million mansion to call home with five large bedrooms, his and her dressing rooms, a gigantic ensuite washroom, as well as sweeping gardens, and charming terraces. With his diet and health being as instrumental to his success on the pitch as anything else, Ronaldo's kitchen also boasted all the necessary stuff, including brand new modern stainless steel appliances. Meanwhile, his dining room was the perfect place to invite his teammates over to throw a few friendly gatherings. With the added bonus of having an indoor swimming pool, a full service steam room, a jacuzzi, and a gym, as well as a home theater, there was almost no reason for Ronaldo to ever leave the comforts of home. Until he departed from Manchester United for the first time, that is. When Ronaldo left the iconic Premier League club, he'd hold onto this property for a further nine years before selling it in 2018, which just goes to show that this place must have held a pretty special place in his heart. Following his then record-breaking transfer to Real Madrid, Cristiano Ronaldo upgraded his digs substantially when he chose a stunning $5.9 million home in Madrid's La Finca neighborhood. Designed by renowned architect Joaquin Torres, this Spanish villa is so elegant that it even flaunts Ronaldo's initials on its front doors. The prominent entrance also shows off a peaceful Buddha idol sitting stoically on the ground, while wooden paneling highlights a stylish contrast against the dark tones of the door. Heading inside, you'll find elegant chandeliers, black and white family portraits, and a whole bunch of other bells and whistles. For the most part, the interior of this home utilizes a neutral tone alongside plush, light-colored carpets. The home's neutral color scheme continues on into Ronaldo's kids' nursery, where his youngest children would sleep side by side in pristine white cots. Meanwhile, the athlete's obvious love for dark colored furniture is shown by with his black dining room table, as well as a geometric centerpiece table in the middle of the living room. And that's without even pointing out all those black and blue couches spread throughout the home. According to the man himself, Cristiano's favorite spa in the house is his extremely comfy lounge, thanks to its large flat screen TV mounted on a nearby wall where he can catch up on all the football action he's not taking part in personally. Furthermore, the home is said to be equipped with a decent sized gym and an indoor jacuzzi where Cristiano spends most of what's left of his free time. Outside, an expansive garden occupies most of the space while large wicker chairs, tables, and sun loungers allow this athletic stud to work on his tan. Better yet, there's an even an entire football pitch located right next to the outdoor pool to ensure Cristiano never falls behind on his training. After playing for Real Madrid for nearly nine years, Ronaldo went to play for Juventus in 2018. Now that he was in Italy as opposed to Spain, he needed a brand new home that was fit for a king, and he found it in one of the most exclusive areas in all of Turin. Based upon reports, Ronaldo was immediately charmed upon laying eyes on this modern home that reminded him of his former estate in Madrid. The fact that it had approximately 10,700 square feet of space to play around with didn't hurt matters either. 
connected to the main road by a lengthy private driveway that's heavily guarded by security, Cristiano's Italian home is surrounded on all sides by spectacular views, including scenic hillsides, a river, and a bird's eye view of the city. Composed out of two adjoining villas, this three-story abode has been designed with luxurious marble, while also boasting a number of picture frame windows spread throughout each room. We got a taste of the interior of this place during Cristiano's wife Georgina Rodriguez's latest Netflix series, I Am Georgina, which revealed that the home is so big, it sometimes takes her half an hour to get from the living room to the opposite side of the property. There is even a dedicated playroom in here for their children that's split into pink and blue for both girls and boys alongside further touches like cloud accents and Spider-Man decals. Two of the home's other known amenities include an expansive walk-in closet that houses Georgina's many designer handbags and a garage that provides enough space to store many of Cristiano's incredible supercars. There's also said to be an indoor swimming pool, spa, and a gym jam-packed with top-of-the-line equipment. Last but not least, there's a sprawling yard and a private garden out back. Ronaldo didn't stick around touring for very long, however, and after returning to Manchester United, he and his family would allow others to rent this home through an Italian real estate brokerage. Now that we've checked out Ronaldo's primary home bases over the course of his career, let's quickly breeze through a few of his getaways before I tell you about his most recent high profile splash. Let's start with his holiday home in Costa del Sol, which he bought in 2019 for $1.7 million. Located on La Racina Golf and Country Club Estate, this four-bedroom property sits in what's known as the Superstars cul-de-sac because of the number of famous residences who live nearby, including Ronaldo's friend and occasional training buddy Conor McGregor. Boasting high vaulted ceilings and incredible views of the Mediterranean Sea, not to mention clean lines, crisp white surfaces, and silver gray details, this home looks amazing. Its kitchen is said to include the highest of high tech, and there's also a private gym on the grounds, a built-in cinema, an infinity pool, as well as a driveway lit up with LED lights. As nice as that home is, when Ronaldo was looking to get a little closer to his roots, he decamps to a property in his hometown of Madeira. This incredible seven-story mansion took about four years of work to complete after Cristiano bought an abandoned warehouse and then turned it into this luxury abode. It's believed he spent somewhere around $8.6 million to buy the property and refurbish it with two Olympic-sized swimming pools, a jacuzzi, and a football pitch. Other details, like the number of bedrooms and baths, are unknown, but it is believed that Cristiano uses this spot as a holiday home whenever he's in town to visit his family. Family. He also hunkered down here for lockdown in 2020. Of course, Ronaldo doesn't spend all of his time in Europe. Sometimes he makes it stateside, and when he does, he used to crash in one of his most expensive properties of all. A stylish condo located in New York City's Trump Tower, which he purchased in 2015 for $18.5 million. That's where he owned a three-bedroom apartment designed by Juan Pablo Malino, who's famous for cultivating what's known as the maximalism style. Boasting panoramic views of Manhattan and Central Park, as well as classy wooden furnishings and access to the building's many leisure facilities, this place had a little bit of everything that you might need. Unfortunately, the value of this property took a nosedive during the pandemic, and the apartment eventually was sold in 2021 for less than $8 million, or about $10 million less than what Ronaldo originally paid for it. But don't concern yourselves with Cristiano's pocketbook too much, because as rumors began to circulate, that he was on the outs with Manchester United, the football star bought himself a brand new mansion in Portugal. If the reports are to be believed, following the World Cup, Cristiano Ronaldo and his family will be departing England once more and returning to Portugal where he began his career with Sporting Club de Portugal. Why do insiders tend to think that this will be his next big step? Probably because he bought the country's most expensive home ever in the Cascais region of Quinta da Marina. This three floor mansion is located about 40 kilometers from Lisbon and has a reported indoor area of more than 29,000 square feet. Better yet, the south-facing home is said to offer mesmerizing views of the Atlantic Ocean, as well as its very own elevator and energy-saving solar panels. Of course, if all that's not impressive enough for you, the home is also said to 
to boast a garage that's large enough to fit nearly two dozen vehicles. Fornalto apparently dropped around $11 million on the purchase of this home, but ever since then, he has been renovating it by spending another $10 million getting it redesigned by his friend, Paolo Brito. Brito has decorated all of Ronaldo's many homes, and over in this new location, he's already installed a one-of-a-kind Louis Vuitton mural. But when it comes to what Ronaldo's exact plans are with this home once everything's finished, the media seems split. Some assume he'll use it as an investment property, while others believe he'll move in only once he's fully retired. Or maybe, just maybe, those reports about his return to sporting CP will prove to be true and Cristiano Ronaldo will be calling this luxurious behemoth home sooner rather than later. We'll just have to wait and see because that is going to bring this latest house tour to a close. Thanks for watching today's video and before you head out, ask yourselves the following question. If you had homes in England, Spain, Portugal, Italy, and America, which country would you want to spend the bulk of your time in and why? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name is Care the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more, and I'll see you all on the next tour. Bye!